The minority in parliament is demanding a withdrawal of the taxes on petroleum. This, they argue, will bring down the prices of fuel and other petroleum products. Earlier in the week, some oil marketing companies increased price of fuel due to the kicking in of tax adjustments to the ESLA levies. Adam Mutawakilu is the ranking member on the Mines and Energy Committee of Parliament. Some oil marketing companies earlier in the week increased prices of fuel at the pumps in a move that is attributable mainly to the increment in the energy sector levies. In the media budget review, government announced an increment of 20 pesos per litre on fuel and 80 pesos per kilogram on LPG. Speaking to City News, ranking member on Parliament's Mines and Energy Committee, Adam Mutoakilu, questioned the rationale for the increment of the energy sector levies. All this increment, the government has been blaming it on international oil prices and exchange rate depreciation. Because the exchange rate depreciation, they are not able to manage the economy as expected. Now, this increment is not influenced by any of these factors, but just that government wants to increase more revenue through the Energy Sector Levy Act and as a result have imposed more taxes. Before you impose more taxes, you must account to us what you have used the previous taxes to do. It is clear that the energy sector levy proceeds in 2017, this government used 600 million Ghana cities to pay pension arrears. He further indicated that the decision which has resulted in the price hike at the pumps is unjustifiable. 2018, 4.5 billion Ghana cities. And the projection for 2019 is 6 billion Ghana cities. Let's ask the question, are they using the money as expected? As we stand today to talk, 2017, 2018, 650 million Ghana cities of this money has not been utilized. It's seated in their accounts. Why imposing more taxes on ordinary Ghanaians to pay? There's no justification for this increment. And as Ghanaians, we must oppose it and ensure that it's withdrawn. In 2018, they couldn't account for over 800 million Ghana cities. They couldn't account for them. So what is the rationale behind the increment? The government cannot justify this by how it used what it raised in 2017 and 2018. And therefore, as Ghanaians, we must resist it and first call for better accountability of what they have gotten over the two, year, two and a half years. Reporting from Parliament, my name is Duke Mensopoku for City News.